Okay. And we'll get started. And good evening, everyone. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. How many of you went out of town? Okay, some of you went out of town. Okay, good. Anybody get sick over Thanksgiving? Ooh, I got you beat there. My whole family got sick. So. Um, we're all better, though. We're, we're good. We're good. Um, okay, tonight I have on the board, uh, I'm going to give you a test on the Ten Commandments next week. So tonight we'll do a review. All right? So what's nice about a review is that um, I'm, I'm basically going to be dictating the test to you. Okay? I'm not going to give you directly the answers. I'm just going to give you a really good idea of what's on it. Okay? Um, so it's probably a good idea for you if you uh, took some notes uh, so that uh, when you actually come to take the test, you will be quite prepared. Okay? Um, the, the test next week will be um, open Bible, open catechism, and open notes. Okay? Um, another thing that I'm going to tell you about the test is the test will consist of 40 statements. Okay? 40 statements. Four, four, zero. Did I do that right? Yeah, four, zero. 40 statements um, that are either true or not true. The ones that are true, you're going to put a check mark next to it. If they are false, you're going to correct the statements so that they are true. Okay? Everybody got that? Okay. All right. Well, let's start off. And... Where, and we learned this right at the beginning of our, um, uh, of our class, where did God first write his law? Chloe. Before that, where did God first write his law? Who knows? Teresa? Wasn't it in like a heart? Yes. The human heart, very good. Um, well, I won't draw heart. Yeah, so so before God uh, chiseled his law on two uh, slabs of stone, he wrote it on the human heart. Okay, very good. What is the one word now that summarizes God's law? One word that summarizes God's law. Hmm? Love, there you go, good, love. The Ten Commandments are summarized by the word love, right? Remember what love is. Well, let's, first of all, let's remember in the Bible what love is not. What is love not? Okay, love is not what we in our society today, generally think of as love. Okay? Love in our society is more of the romantic type. Right? That's generally how our culture views love. But that's not what love is in the Bible. Okay? So if it's not the romantic kind of love, then what is love in the Bible then? Anybody know? Well, caring is, is part of it, yeah, uh huh. But when when we when we care about others, what do we do for them? Put our needs, put their needs in front of ours. 
Exactly, and there's a word for that. When you put others' needs in front of your own, that's called what? What? Somebody just, I think someone just said it. Selfless. Okay, well, it's close. It does start with an S, though. Anybody? Service. Right. In the Bible, to love means to serve. Okay? And to serve means to put others' needs above your own. Okay? Very good. Okay. Um, next. Commandments 1 through 3 and Commandments 4 through 10. Commandments 1 through 3 deal with what? Yes, Chloe. God. Love God. God, right. And Commandments 4 through 10 deal with what? Or I should say who? Chloe. Everyone. Everyone else, right. Good. What's the word we what's the word we use for everyone else? Neighbor, good. Yep, everyone else is your neighbor. Right? They don't necessarily have to live next door, right? Perfect. All right. Um, the, the first commandment deals with a certain type of sin. What is the sin that is forbidden in the first <coughs> commandment? Eric. To have any other gods. Yeah, to have any other gods, right. There's a word for that, though. The word I'm looking for is... Mono... Oh, mm. yeah. Mono... Gods. Something. Yeah, you're thinking monotheism, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's not the word I'm thinking of, though. But that's a good word, though. Monotheism is the belief in one God. And yes, as Christians, we are monotheists. Okay? All right, so the first commandment forbids the sin of... Worshipping other gods. And what's the word that we use for worshipping other gods? Starts with an I. Chloe. Adultery? Uh, idolatry. Idolatry. Good. Idolatry. Okay. It's the... It's the, it, 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 it's the worship of idols, right? It's the worship of, of anything else besides the God who is revealed in the Bible. Okay? Good. Um, so, uh, the first commandment says that we are to, uh, we, we are to, to love this, this God we worship. Okay, how do we love God? Remember that one saying that I gave you, Nick? By loving others. Right. We love the God whom we cannot see with our eyes by loving and serving the neighbor whom we can see. Okay? No. Very good. So, what is it about what is it about false gods that we are not supposed to worship them? 
and I'm going to write gods in a small g. What is it about false gods, or the small g gods, what is it about them that we're not supposed to worship them? Any takers on that? They don't exist. That's why. That's why we do not worship any God other than the God who is revealed in the Bible. Okay? Other gods do not exist. All right, very good. I'll stop. Anybody have any questions? Okay. Um, what would be an example of idolatry? Anybody... Give me some examples of idolatry. Teresa? Cults. Okay, like cults, religious cults. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Eric? Ouija um, board. A, a, a Ouija board? Yeah. Like those. Because we didn't we write a chart about that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, that that that's dealing with the second commandment, though. But but that's good. I mean, that's because ultimately a violation against every commandment is a violation against the first commandment. Okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, a, a, a Ouija board would be an example of idolatry. Here's an example of idolatry. It's a little god we carry around in our pockets. Your pastor does too. <laughs> he gets. So, um, anything else? Hmm? Yeah. So let, 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 let's, just, let's just put it this way. Idolatry is when you fear, love, and trust in something more than fear, loving, and trusting in God. Okay? And that goes for like any person or anything who you fear, love, and trust more than God is idolatry. All right. Very good. See, we're, I got a question. Yeah, yeah. Just, and I know this is a review. I don't want to get muttered and off track. Sure. Whatever, but uh -huh. with, where does that line come in? I mean, you could trust in your phone. Well, yeah. And it's going to give you directions and whatnot. Sure. I'm sure you can trust in God, too, and God yeah. gave man the ability to invent the phone. Right. Um, <clears throat> there seems to be some sort of, I mean, where does where that... A little bit of a gray area, area, right? Yeah. 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 Um, I would say that uh, if, 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 you know, let's take the phone, for instance, if this is the most time-consuming thing, you know, and... You're, you're, you're doing something solely for yourself, you know, and not using it for the benefit of anyone else. Sure. Then it becomes a God. So, but that's a great question. I mean, that's stuff we need to talk about, right? I use mine to read books. I, got, I, I do the Kindle thing, so. All right. So very good. I do other things with it too, but I text. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Uh, the the 
Let's go on to the second commandment. The second commandment um, deals with God's name. In God's name, uh, well, let's ask you this. Does God have a, a proper name like you and I do? No. no, he does not have a proper name like you and I do. Okay? So what do we mean by God's name? Anybody? What do we mean by God's name? God's name is just God himself. Okay? God's name is, is, is God's very being. Okay? This is to remind us that, you know, God is not, um, God is not some unattached force in the universe, but that God is actually personal. Okay? So yeah, so God doesn't have a proper name like you and I do, but, but God is personal. So whenever we talk about God's name, we're talking about God himself. Okay? Um, so the second commandment forbids us uh, to misuse God's name. Okay? What would be an example of misusing God's name? Chloe? Cursing. Yeah, cursing. You know, uh, cursing people in the name of God. Like saying, you know, I hope God strikes you dead with a lightning bolt. Okay? That's cursing using God's name. Any other examples? Chloe? Lying. Lying using God's name. Yep. Any others? Chloe. Deceiving his name. Yeah, deceiving in his name. Trick, tricking people using his name. Here's an example. Oh, this is going to hurt. Um, how many of you use that? Is that a violation of the second commandment? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, another way we misuse God's name is by participating in what's called satanic arts. Satanic arts. And this is where we're talking about what Eric was talking about earlier, the, the Ouija board. I think I spelled that right. Did I spell that right? Good enough. Good enough, yep. Ouija board. Um, any other examples of satanic art? Horoscopes. Anything else? Yeah. What's that? Voodoo. Voodoo. Good. Voodoo. Well, I'm not sure if that's right. But. What was one of the latest ones? I think we mentioned one before. One of the with the pencils? What is it? Charlie Charlie. Charlie Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another one is, uh, yeah, Mike. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. I'm not familiar with that one, but... It's like you go to a mirror and you say, I believe in Bloody Mary three times, and... Say that she'll appear in a mirror and probably kill you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. 
Um, do, you know, do, do you know what that's called when people sit in a circle and they hold hands and they invoke uh, spirits of people who have died? Seance. Seance. Okay, you do know what that is. Okay. Yeah, seance. Yep, that's also an example of a satanic art. Michael? Black magic. Black magic is another one. Good. Yep. So, yeah, all, all good examples of a satanic art. And these things are, are forbidden by the second commandment. Okay? Very good. Um, so, sometimes, sometimes we are permitted, sometimes we are permitted to swear using God's name. Can anybody think when, when we are permitted to do that? Yes, Logan. Well, hmm. When we, yeah, when we call out to God in prayer and praise and in times of trouble, sure, yeah. So we can call on God's name in, uh, in times of trouble. Okay. I wouldn't really call that swearing you using God's name. Okay. This is... This is calling out for him, yeah, to help you. Right. Yes? Prayer. Okay, yeah, well, prayer is another example of this, yeah. That we are to pray and praise and give thanks to God, okay? There's a particular example, though, I'm thinking of um, where you are actually permitted to swear or to take a vow using God's name. Court. In court. Right. If you are called to testify, you will they will say, Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God? Then you say, I do. That's permitted. Okay? Why is that permitted? Anybody? Okay, it's, it's, it's permitted because it is going to, um, uh, uh, the, the goal of that is for the well-being of other people. Okay, so when you're, when you're testifying in court, it is a way to get to the truth of a situation, okay? And it may help uh, somebody else. So you're not, you're, you're not doing it in a, in a selfish way, okay? You're doing it for the benefit of society, okay? Cool. All right, any questions on the second commandment? Because we can move on to three. Yay. Sabbath. Remember the third commandment is remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What does the word Sabbath mean? Nick. Rest. Rest. Very good. The word Sabbath means rest. Okay? Um, the Bible makes very clear that our, our Sabbath rest um, used to be a day of the week. Do you remember what day of the week that the Old Testament people use as their Sabbath day? No, not Sunday. Saturday, right. Saturday was the day of rest. Okay? Right. 
Well, yeah, well, actually, it starts like Friday at sundown, and it goes all the way through Saturday sundown. So it's a it's a 24-hour period. Right. So that was that was their day of rest. Okay? Now, since Jesus has come, our rest is no longer a day of the week, but it is now a person. Okay? And that person is Jesus. Okay, Jesus is our Sabbath rest. Jesus is our Sabbath rest. Okay? Now, we, we, still, we still worship, you know, just like the Old Testament people did. They worshiped on Saturday, okay? But in the Christian church, what day of the week have we set aside to worship? Sunday. Yeah. Now, is, is, is any day of the week um, okay, though, for worship? Yeah, any day of the week. Okay. So why did the Christians choose Sunday? Why did the Christians choose Sunday? Logan. It is the start of a new week. Yeah. Why else, Eric? Day of the church. Yeah, right. Well, that's what I'm asking. Oh. What, what, why did we choose Sunday as the day for worship, for going to church? Oh, I thought you meant with day, why we choose like, Sunday earlier on the Sabbath day. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. I, okay, I'll, I'll rephrase the question then. Good job. Um, uh, why did the Christians choose to worship or go to church on Sunday? Anybody? Because of the resurrection, that's the day. Sunday is the day that Jesus rose from the dead. So, you know, the, the Christians, the first Christians understood that they weren't attached to any specific day. You know, Jesus didn't come and say, worship me on Sundays. Okay. Um, Jesus rose from the dead on Sunday. And the first Christians said, that's when we should do our worship then. Yeah, because it's, it's a brand new week. Because it's a brand new life. It's a brand new creation because Jesus rose from the dead. Yeah, good. Okay, give me an example of a violation of the third commandment. Give me an example of a violation of the third commandment. Good thing we're having this review, huh? <laughs> Anybody? Cooking dinner. Cooking dinner on. No. 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 I'm, th I'm thinking of something that has to do with worship. Yeah. What's that? What? It's not going to church. Bingo. <laughs> Skipping church. Skipping church. Right. Violation. All 
Okay, what's another example of um, a violation of the third commandment? Eric. Well, yeah. Well, that that would go, that would go with that. Yeah. So, yeah, skipping church, not taking communion. Yeah, all that. It's kind of all involved in that. Michael. I really think it's applies in our society about working. Wait, say that again. No. Working. Working. Yeah. Well. I really think that applies in today's society. Well, yeah. I mean. Um, you know, work, working is, um, you know, in some instances, a very necessary on Sundays, you know. Here's his idea. Oh. Okay. Um, the, the, the actual part of, you know, working on the Sabbath day was, was, uh, was taken away by Jesus. And the reason was because the Old Testament people used the Sabbath day uh, not only to, um, to rest, but more than that, to just be absolutely lazy. Okay? Right. The, 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 the whole point of the Sabbath day was to, um, to just kind of let things, you know, uh, lay and not using up, you know, uh, resources and things like that, okay? Yeah. Okay, so when Jesus comes along, uh, the, the, the Sabbath is now a person. And what that really means for us as Christians is that we do not have to work in order to be saved in order to have salvation, okay? So when we talk about Jesus being our Sabbath rest, it means that Jesus did everything that we could not do uh, to be saved, okay? So, so skipping church is an example. Another example is, uh, is despising the word of God. <clears throat> okay. All right. Any questions? Let's go on to... Well, before we get to four... Oops, before we get to four, um, all right, um, who is able to keep these commandments? No one. Right. You and I are completely incapable of keeping these commandments because God wants us to keep the commandments how? Just a little bit? Whenever we feel like it? When? Or, or how? How does God want us to keep the commandments? Perfectly. God commanded that his commandments be kept perfectly. And because we have that command of keeping it perfectly, we are shown that we are absolutely incapable of doing it, right? It's impossible.
Okay, so um, so God's law has God's law has three functions. Do you remember what those functions are? God's law has three functions. Anybody remember? Eric. Isn't it like, well, doesn't it have to do with like Holy Spirit, Son of God, that little triangle thing? No, that's the Trinity. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the nature of God. Chloe. What is this? Yeah, just one. Moral? Um, well, that's a type of law. Okay, that's a type of law, but the law of God has three functions. One of them was a curb. You remember that? Remember, I think it was the week before last, we talked about, you know, the curbs on your street. Well, what's the purpose of a curb? Yeah, this... The road ends here, okay? If you're driving over this, then you're not on the road anymore, right? So you're on, it's a, to keep you on straight and narrow. Yes, Eric? The mirror. The mirror, good. Oops. Yep. And the mirror function does what? It shows us our sins. Shows us our sins, right. Nick? A guide. A guide, good. So the guide, um, the law acts as a guide so that we say as Christians, with God's help, with God's help, we, uh, we, we, um, we strive to keep the commandments, knowing that we're not going to keep them perfectly. So we strive to keep them out of, out of love for God. Okay? Curb, mirror, and guide. Very good. Okay, any questions here? All right. Let's move on. Fourth commandment. Um... It's about your parents. Parents, oh. Parents, what are we to do with our parents? Yes? Honor. honor them. We are to honor. We are to love them. And we are to obey them. Right? Parents. Is the fourth commandment only about parents? No. Who else is it about? Eric? Other authorities. Other authorities. Good. Okay. Other authorities are, are ordained by God to be of service to you, okay? Parents are there to not only provide for you, but also to uh, care for you and protect you. Oh, here, here's something I, I forgot to say about this. Um, and th this won't be on the test, so you don't have to worry about this. Parents! Yes or no, would you take a bullet for your kid? Yes. Hear that, kids? Mm -hmm. Your parents love you so much, they take a bullet for you. They would. We would. Yeah. 
And then when you become parents, you'll think the same way. You'll take a bullet for your kids. Yep. All right. Um, there are authorities, uh, some who are willing to place themselves in harm's way for your protection. Okay. So what are some other authorities? An example. For examples. Yeah, government, right? And the government provides what for our protection? The fuzz. The what? The fuzz. The fuzz. Why don't we say police? Okay. All right. Police. Anyone else? Chloe. Teachers. Teachers. Yeah. These are all people God has placed into your life for your benefit. Right. What else, Teresa? Pastor. Ah, very good, Pastor. Wish I had a gold sticker. <laughs> Eric. Coaches. What's that? Coaches. Coaches. Good. Anyone else? Nick. Uh, firefighters. Firefighters. Firefighter. <coughs> Any others, my Military. Military. Oops. Mm. All right, very good. So those are those are examples. Yep. Of people who have who God placed in your life for your benefit. Okay, good. Um, all right, so that, that's about it on the fourth commandment. Any questions on the fourth commandment? We'll see, we're kind of running out of time here. Let's go on to the fifth commandment. The fifth commandment deals with stealing. Right? So stealing, um, so we're, we, are, we are commanded to not steal, but what does the fifth commandment uh, uh, tell us to do? Yes, Colin. Protect your neighbor's things? Yeah, protect your neighbor's things. You know, help. Protect neighbor's possessions. Yeah, good. Let me make sure that, uh... right. So we don't we, we we don't take things from people. We actually help them keep what they have, right? Right. And if there's a way that you can, um, you know, improve on what someone else has, then you can be of service to. Uh, someone else. Okay, Teresa. Is there the fifth one about murder? Oh! <laughs> so we're doing the seventh commandment right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yes. So, yeah, seventh commandment is, is stealing. <laughs> I get those two mixed up all the time. All right, uh, so... So that, 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 that's good about stealing. Seventh commandment. Any questions on the seventh commandment? Let's move on. Now let's go to the fifth commandment, which is not about stealing, but is actually about murder. You shall not murder. You shall not murder anyone, including yourself. Right? Um, so, uh, so if, if we're not to take anyone else's life, what are we to do? 
according to the fifth commandment. Nick. Help support our neighbors in all uh, physical needs. Right. Help our neighbor with all physical needs. Yeah. Help with all physical needs. Very good. All right. That's the fifth command. Any questions? Let's go on to six. Six, what is the name of the sin of the sixth commandment? Okay, it's a word that means being unfaithful to your spouse. What is that word, Paige? Adultery. Very good. Very good. So adultery means being or, or adultery means being unfaithful to your spouse. Okay. Um, the sixth commandment also reminds us that uh, marriage marriage was instituted by God, or in other words, it was God's idea. Okay, marriage is God's idea. And marriage is between who? Oops. It's supposed to be an arrow, by the way. One man and one woman. Not two men and not two women. Okay. Um, let's see. Is that all I have on the sixth commandment? Yep. I think that's all I have on the sixth commandment. Any, any questions? All right. We already did the seventh. Let's move on to the eighth. The Eighth Commandment, we are commanded to protect what? Yes, Eric. The one before that. No, no. The Eighth Commandment, we protect... What's that? Well, we don't protect gossip. We protect your neighbor's what? Reputation. Reputation, right. Right, we are not to bear false witness. That means we don't, we don't, we don't tell lies about someone else. Where, where are the lies normally told about other people? Well, school, yeah. <laughs> and you'll find out when you grow up, it's not just school. You know, it happens other places too. Right? What? What's that? Colin, what? Gossip. Yeah, gossip, gossiping, right? Gossiping, and um, you know, a little bit of gossip then turns into what? A rumor, right? Yeah. So, so the eighth commandment tells us not to perpetuate rumors about someone, right? Yep. So, it, it kind of as a rule, as Christians, the the, the rumor stops with me. Okay. Um, so, when there is a lie about someone that's being told, we not only, you know, put a, put a stop to it, but we also uh, take it upon ourselves to defend that person. 
-hmm. Okay. Um, okay, let, let's go to the ninth and tenth commandments. And that is deal with dealing with coveting. Okay? Who can give me a good definition of coveting? Coveting. Yes, Maddie. Like taking someone you know as possessions or giving them possessions. Yeah, right. Taking someone else's possession that is not yours or having a desire for it and then coming up with a scheme to get it, right? That, that, that's coveting. Um, I know I, I used a lousy example, but uh, you could probably think of some examples yourself, okay? Something that someone else has, you want. And so you'll, you'll pull tricks and, you know, talk smooth and things like that in order to get that thing, whatever it is. Okay? The ninth and tenth commandments deal not only with things, right? But it also deals with people. Yeah. I don't want just any BFF. I want that BFF, right? And so you'll try anything to take that person's BFF away. Right, that, that's coveting. So people can be coveted. Right. Okay. All right. Um, da, 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 da. So that covers the commandments. A couple of other things. We talked about the different types of sin. There are two kinds of sin. Anybody remember what those are? Two kinds of sin. Nick. Original. Original. And what's the second one? Eric. Actual. Actual. Good. Original and actual. Original is what we inherited, right? From who? Who did we inherit original sin from? Adam. Adam and Eve. Good. The first sinners inherited from Adam and Eve. Right. So original sin is our condition, okay, that we inherited from Adam and Eve. Okay. Original sin, or the propensity to sin, has led to actual sin, right? And actual sin is what? Well, actual sin is breaking the commandments. Breaking commandments. Okay? Breaking commandments. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, everybody got that? Two kinds of sin, original and actual. All right. Does God have self-esteem issues? So why does God call himself a jealous God? 
It's not because he has self-esteem issues. So why is he jealous? Anybody? Well, he's jealous because he is holy. There is no one else like him. There is no other God. So he's, he's jealous, not because he's got an ego problem, but because he knows that only he is what is best for everyone. And what do we keep doing? We keep running away after, you know, other gods and breaking the commandments. Right. So do we have the ability to keep all the commandments? We've already kind of talked about that. No, we do not have the ability. Who had the ability? What's that? Who had the ability to keep all the commandments? Eric. Jesus. Jesus kept all the commandments. Okay. Um, Jesus kept all the commandments on our behalf. Okay. He did it for us. He didn't do it for himself. He did it for us. All right. He did that in order to save us from our violations of sin. Okay? What's the word we use for that? For the commandments, we use the word law. Whoops. But there's another word that we use to describe what God has done for us to save us from our sin. There's a word for that. Um, well, that's what he did. Right. <laughs> Jesus sacrificed himself on the cross. Okay. He did that for us. And we call that... Starts with a G. Gospel. We call it gospel. Yep. The gospel is, the gospel means good news. Yep. So the good news tells us what God has done for us to save us from sin, death, and the devil. Okay? Very good. Any questions? Well, we knocked that hour off pretty well. All right. Test next week. Um, just one announcement uh, before.